name is Shane Mayo. I was very for fortunate to be uh, um, involved with the family that owned and operated Rossini's, probably one of the best jazz clubs in Vancouver for many years. I'm very, very honored to be a part of that. More importantly, be honored to have all the people that graced our stages throughout the years, our local entertainment and also the international entertainment. Now, speaking of international entertainment, Bobby was many of those. Um, let's see, we'll start here. Uh, anyway, I am saddened here to be here today, as everybody is, to be here talking about someone that, uh, you know, we felt very close to. You know, one of the legendary artists, hands down, in Vancouver, in the world. Mr. Bobby Taylor, and I, uh, Feel so happy to have uh, have been able to know him, know him, and also to be a friend, a mentor, and simply a, a simply a wonderful, crazy character, as we all agree. We had the pleasure of uh, Bobby gracing our stages at Rossini's many times. He was one of the true, real entertainers. He could mesmerize you with his talent. As we know, he would work the room totally. He would engage and just go to every table. We were very lucky to have a. Uh, one of those mics where he can walk around, he'd sit there and sing the whole song, and he, he, he would own literally everybody in the room. It was how it was to be done. He not only had a great voice, but he had a great spirit. I worked with Bobby on a few different uh, fronts. Years ago, he brought a young lady at the age of 10 to our stage, uh, Carson Gray, and at that time there was a casting director and she moved on to uh, Peter Pan and since then she has been uh, working and she's won some uh, awards and in, in indigenous awards for best new artist I'm just in the middle of working with her right now too on some things she wishes she could be here I will introduce my daughter Malia very shortly that has some notes for her and what have you too from that day um, she just went on and she kept going through the mentoring of uh, of, uh, of Bobby. So several years later, Bobby took Carson, my daughter Malia, and their friend Linnea, who are all teenagers, having a boring stretch of the summer. So he worked with them day in and day out to create this little girl band. It was called Vivid. Not necessarily something we found out later that would be a really great name for a young girl band. It was a Just Google it. It won't, it won't like it. <laughs> anyway, um, in, a, in a short time we were in the studio, we recorded a couple of songs, we, uh, we produced a show at, uh, at Rossini's, it was a sold out crowd and, and the kids did an amazing job through Bobby's mentoring, through his, his leadership. He was, I was there quite a bit and he was just, as you say, a no shit kind of guy, here, bring it here, bring it there. He did an amazing job with these young ladies. Um, and it was a memorable night that the, the girls will never forget. Later on, he took uh, my daughter and my wife and everybody to Temptations, took them backstage, introduced them. He was having a great time. He, he, he knew the people very well. After the time um, we had done the three songs for the girls, him and I flew off to LA for a whirlwind 24-hour trip to uh, a Motown Legends review. And if anybody had any doubts about Bobby Taylor and all his supposed bullshit stories, they were true. Thank you, Shane. Okay, he, I met Barry Gordy, Quincy Jones, Clay, all the guys that recorded the Supremes, all of them, and talked with every single one of them and asked them. And they just said, he's the real deal. The only reason why Diana Ross got the credit for introducing because she was a bigger name at the time. So they can be squashed right now. He was the real deal right. and what have you. So at the end of the day, Bobby was Bobby and we loved his stories, but let's believe in that because they were very, very true. say it from the heart more than reading in, in a sense um, you know and we and, and as we know he never really 
Well, I think they're just kind of points. They're kind of points too. He never really got his due. And I, I, I was talking with Linda today and, and through this whole thing of, of discussing uh, many different things, he's getting his due now. Yeah. Which I find it very sad for all our great entertainers yeah. in Vancouver and what have you, Rolling Stone articles, all the sorts of articles that I've been reading. And it's, it's, it's great, but here's a man that put his heart out to all of us and worked his butt off to get where he was. And that, uh, that entertaining soul that he had was second to none. The other thing too is, is it's very fitting that it's Michael Jackson's birthday today. I had sent a note to some people in LA and, and letting them know that, that we'll be discussing that and giving Michael a, hey, hi, how are you? Probably Michael and him are upstairs. Kind of going, holy shit, what happened? <laughs> you know, they're, Bobby's trying to the moon, do the moon dance, and he's like, well, I could probably only do a half a moon dance right now. Um, his silliness, his laugh, his passion for music, and mentoring of young people, his love of life, he will be missed. He was what you call a true entertainer. He sang and entertained from his soul. May he continue to inspire those of you that knew him. And this group here is all about the music, especially the live music. Please continue to support all these amazing musicians we have here right in Vancouver. I think there's a little bit of Bobby in all of us. Through music, we have the power to make people smile, to laugh. And to cry, and to simply feel. Music is that powerful. As we continue to move on, we continue to have to realize that music is in every part of our lives. And people like Bobby bring those memories back as we listen to music that he's had. Rest in peace, my friend. Although having said that, I'm sure you're creating some kind of crazy shit up there. <laughs> Wherever it is, you may have landed. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for being so supportive of my father Arnie, my family, Avrosini's, four entertainers like Bobby, and for all the local fantastic entertainment we have. I just want to say thanks to Karen as well for continuing the Saturday afternoon jam that my father created many, many, many years ago. And please support it, you guys. Please support it for these amazing entertainers that we have in Vancouver. And, pardon me? Oh, there, may, maybe one day. It's a nice generation. It's another, it's a little, it's nice to have a little break. Anyway, I'd like to introduce you to my beautiful daughter, Malia. And she's going to read something from Carson, maybe tell a few of her little stories with Bobby as well. Thank you very much.